Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to take a really quick look at the dashboard designer built into Chin Studio. So with Chin Studio and my project open, the first thing I want to do is select my option here to set up a new gauge cluster and give my new gauge cluster a name. I then get to select from a load of predefined standard options. So you might find something in there that's close to what you want already that you can just tweak brilliant if so or you can just start with your default option which is what I want to do so now right click on my gauge cluster and click designer mode and now you can see I can select the various dials and the various warnings at the bottom if I want to I can just do a control A and delete and start from scratch so starting from scratch, the first thing I want to do is set my background color or image. So right click, go to background, and I've just set my colors or select an image. In this case, we're just going to go for a very simple white background. So you can see at the moment it's white fading into black. To change that, we also need to change our diva color to white. Okay. Now to add a gauge. Right click, the dashboard designer, new, add gauge, and we can select from one of the options for standard gauges. So we're going to go for the analog basic gauge, and we're going to have just three of those in total. So I've added it three times, so I can now move it around. For each one, I can right click on it and I can choose what it should display. So I've got my tuner to studio gauges, my AFR inputs, various calculations, outputs that it will display, power and drag information, sensor inputs, etc. So for this one, I want to just display the engine speed. So there it is. And if I right click, Go dashboard designer properties dialog. I can change the information that it displays. So I could set my maximum, if there's any low warnings, but I don't want them, so I'm going to set them to zero. And my high warning and high critical. And you can see my high critical is my red section, my high warning starts at the yellow section. Now I can also change exactly how this gauge is displayed. So I can change where the start angle is, so I can move where the zero is. I can change my sweep angle. So I might want to change that back like that. And I can change the face fill. So I've now just got the face showing over the sweep angle. Okay, so I can then close that. And I'm going to say I want this over this side. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And then click on the red dot. I can stretch out the size of my gauge. So if I want another gauge then to sit in this space, I can drag it over there, but my 35 RPM is sitting over the top. So to change that, right click on it, go to dashboard designer, go order and bring forward. And you can see how now that's sitting on top of the other gauge. So again, click on my little red dot and I can drag out the size of this particular gauge. And I can make this one a similar sort of size. Now that it sits over the top of my RPM gauge. And if it doesn't quite sit how I want, obviously I can tweak my other gauge to make it do so.
and then right click on the, this gauge and again I can set what information I want it to display and again right click properties dialog and I can set my levels Right click again, and this time I'm going to put in my coolant temp. And if I want some more gauges, right click, dashboard designer, new, add gauge, select the gauge I want again, and add. Right click. And again, select my input. I want to have this one up here. And now I want two more things. So I'm going to go dashboard designer, new, add gauge. This time I want a vertical dashed bar. Add. I'm going to sit that in here, make it narrower and taller, and then right click sensor inputs. But this one I want to have as my throttle position, and then right click properties dialog, and I can set where any warnings are. So in this area, I'm going to have a line graph for my AFR. So to do that, first of all, I need to add my gauge. And drag it down into position. Then right click on it, dashboard designer. And change gauge style to line graph. And drag it into position. Right click, sensor inputs or AFR EGO inputs and calcs. And we go for air fuel ratio number one. And now I'll have a real time AFR graph. So I'll get five minutes worth of AFR displaying. Now I can go further, I can tweak all the colours and so forth of my dash, but for this video, we're going to leave it there with just showing you then turn off designer mode. Right click, gauge demo, and until so you can see, this is how my gauges will look. The line graphs don't have a demo mode, so you won't be able to see those until you get it up and running. But hopefully, that gives you a starting point on how to set up your own gauges. If you'd like to see some more information on this and some more advanced information on how to do different things, please leave a comment with your request.